and welcome back to another episode of Brick Doodles, a series where I show you my builds to inspire you to build your own. And today, I've built Quidditch equipment. Now this is my first time using this format, so if you like it, make sure to comment down below. And uh, let's get into the video. So first of all, here are all the models I've made. So these are just small little builds to spruce up any Quidditch build you've got. So we've got a little broomstick stand over here. Then we've got a built-up broom, as well as a different build for a quaffle, a table holding the trophy, a uh, a stand for a dang, I forgot the word. A stand for a Quidditch outfit, also with the house logo beneath it as well as my own build for a uh, Beater's Bat, I think is the name for the, that player on the Quidditch team. I might be wrong there. If I am, tell me in the comments. And part of the stalls for the crowd to watch. Now, let's, let's take a look at this broom. This broom build is actually similar to one which you'll find in the LEGO Dimensions game. If you don't know what LEGO Dimensions was, it was this game where uh, a ton of different IPs were thrown together in one massive LEGO Toys to Life game, and Harry Potter was one of those franchises. Now, you could ride Harry Potter's Firebolt in that game, and it had a similar build to this, so I tried to copy that build, but the thing is, the piece it used for the end of the room didn't exist. So, I had to come up with my own way to get the end of the room. And here, I actually used an interesting technique, where I used an ice cream cone in black, as well as Kai's hairpiece from the LEGO Ninjago movie to attach it on. I think it works as the end of a broom pretty well. It's also got a curved look which you don't find on the standard Lego broom piece, as well as the sort of feet pedals. I mean, they're not pedals to pedal with, but sort of the footrests, I guess. So I'm happy with how this broom looks. It sort of will make your Quidditch builds look different. And then for the quaffle, I just used a uh, one by one circular spherical brick. I don't know what the name for this is, but it was used in a lot of 2012 Ninjago sets for the eyes of snake vehicles, and I just put a 1x1 one one stud underneath it so a minifig can hold it. Next we've got this table. Now this table holds the trophy for the winner of the Quidditch Cup, and it's quite a simple build, but uses a nice technique where you use Harry Potter wand pieces on the bottom to create table legs. I really like how that design looks, and the gold trophy on top this really finishes this little build off. Then we've got the broom stand. This is also, once again, a small and simple build. It uses a stamp piece, I believe that's the word Just You Good uses to call it. It's the one by one stud with a uh, bar sticking at the top to attach this broom. So you can have it on display. I quite like how this looks. Then we've got one part of the Quidditch stands. Now, I know I didn't build the whole surrounding Quidditch the whole surrounding stands for the Quidditch Arena. I just don't have all those pieces that would take a long time. So instead, I built a... I built one section of it. So if you want to make a full Quidditch Arena, you can just copy this build loads of times and have them all next to each other. Now this has two seat levels currently, but of course if you want to, you can make it higher and higher. And I've just put Luna standing there supporting Gryffindor. And now for the final build, we've got this mannequin for the Slytherin Quidditch outfit. It's got just a simple black base with the Quidditch sticker on the front. That comes from the Quidditch match from 2018 if I remember correctly. A very nice sticker and goes just in front of the legs to show it's a Slytherin mannequin. I also made my own build for a Bludger's Bat. I wouldn't say it's any better than the one LEGO uses, but it's different, so if you want to have different bludger bats in your builds, you certainly can. And I think that's about it for the builds. So now let's get into the tutorial. Here are the pieces needed to build the quaffle and the built up broomstick. Now I'm actually just going to go through all the different pieces before all of the builds, just because these have so few pieces and I don't want to keep flicking through screens. So on to the next one. Here are the pieces of the table. Here are the pieces for the broom stand, here are the pieces for the spectator's stand, and here are the pieces for the mannequin stand. And as always, feel free to make any substitutions if you wish. And now, 
let's get into the builds. <laughs> 